Game started. Coludio. Okay, I think it's time for me to start a game with Knight Up 3. Maybe we'll get a Reti, or maybe we'll get back into an English. What is that? Knight C6. Okay, let's continue with the Kingside Fianchetto. I think that's the Reti idea. Now he plays D5. So, C4. Oh, he's going to try and hold on to the pawn. That's interesting. Uh, what happens if I take? He just takes back with the bishop. I was gonna, so with that bishop move, he could take the pawn and hold on to it. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Now he gets uh, open center and lots of activity, but I have an extra center pawn. So it was interesting the way he's played it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not so familiar with this opening, so I don't know if this is a standard way of playing it or not. Looks a little bit funny. Is the queen really so good out there? But uh, Well, I need to castle to unpin the d-pawn. And I can play uh, d3 or d4, put my bishop here. So he went for the quick queenside castling. That's his idea here. d3 looks good. That would, that would make this a solid uh, structure in the center for his rook to hit on. And, um, and then this bishop is still looking good, looking over at his king side here. So d3, and then this bishop could come to um, e3 or d2, hitting his queen or looking at the pawn in the corner. Need to get a rook to the c-file, maybe put some pressure on this guy. Okay, so he launches. <laughs> this is a very strange play from black, I think. I don't know the point of that. So if I play knight to c3 now, he will play b4, I guess. That's one idea, maybe. And then my knight can come out here. Um, yeah, I mean, what's strange about it is that these pawn moves on the queen side would normally be considered uh, kind of weakening. Like the king is over there, right? <laughs> That's where you've got your king. So why are you pushing the queen side pawns? And um, what? Oh, he's going to push the C pawn next. So I'm going to play my bishop here. And I'm going to attack this pawn that I've now pinned. And I'm also preparing the C file so I can put a rook there. And he's playing all of this without any pieces from the king side. So it'd be kind of amazing if this is good. Uh, not to say that I'm going to win. <laughs> Because, of course, uh, there's always chances to blunder, mm, as we saw in my last game. Or was it the game before that? Anyway, recently I had, had a really blunderful game. Um, but this should be bad. This should not be any good at all. So I'm going to pin that bishop. Let's see, he has pressure on my bishop, which is, well, it's defended by a couple of pieces. Okay, he's just giving up a piece here. What the heck? What the heck? Is this guy not even serious about playing? <clears throat> okay, let's pile up on the C-file. I think I can get a, a battery going here. Maybe he's just so good he can defeat me using only half of his pieces. Ah, he decided to defend it this time. Okay, two attackers, two defenders. I can pile up again. Or even further. Further still. Um, so he gives up another piece, right? Rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, queen takes, rook takes. Ah, is he giving, he's not giving up another piece because he's hitting my knight at the end. Um, this is probably still okay for me because might as well, I might as well take the pieces off. Now that I'm a piece up, I might as well trade everything off. So even though I did give up a piece unintentionally, <laughs> see what I mean about mistakes. Uh, okay, so he's attacking my bishop. Let's not forget that. I have a check. And I also have a, a knight move that um, would launch a discovered attack on this knight. 
check. Let's give the check first. Because uh, get my get my bishop out of trouble. Then then the knight the knight was defending the bishop. Okay, so check here. Check. So it's a rook and three pieces versus a rook and two. And now let's see if I can move this knight with tempo. Where's a good move with the knight? Maybe here. Uh, but that leaves the rook undefended. Um, here, here, here. I'll just provoke more trades. Can I pile up on this pawn in some way? Or is his knight threatening anything? Hmm, I don't see anything great. Okay, I'm going to just play here and see where he goes with his knight. So he interrupts the defense of my rook. So my rook is hanging. Let's uh, drop back. <clears throat> I did kind of want to go all the way to the back rank, but he defended that. I, I could have taken the knight. I could have just taken that knight. I could have gone to uh, could have gone to c6 there, supported by my bishop. Um, okay, what should I do here? Let's think. I take, he takes. I play rook here, check. King moves forward. I take the pawn, he takes a pawn. And then I attack this pawn over here. Actually, his bishop is defending that pawn. So it's not helping. Okay, how about knight here? Let's trade off his, his dark squared bishop. Ah, oh, he doesn't want to trade. Okay, I, I'll take anyway. He takes. I take the uh, bishop. He takes my bishop, and then I have to retreat. I can come here with check, and then go to this square. Check. And um, I can now activate my rook again. Yep, it's kind of amazing that he's managing to survive. <laughs> Let's see. So I have another check here, and then I can pick up this pawn. He gets that pawn. So I guess he's going to just mop up as many pawns as he can. Why not? Why not? Check. And I'll take here. Let's see. Has he got some trick with his knight? Don't see it. Oh, I should have gone check. Yeah, <laughs> he takes it away. I had check and take the pawn on uh, f4. That would have been better. That would have been better. Okay, let's go back here. Get away from any crazy knight forks. And um, let's not give up the bishop. Okay, let's train off the rook. And uh, go into an endgame where I have an extra bishop. And let's see, he can go here with check. If I place my king up to f2. Um, let's, uh, still, I should come here and attack those pawns, right? Before moving, instead of moving my king, rather and trade off the last piece. So it's just a knight and pawns against pawns. So I can't imagine Check. that he can win this. <laughs> Maybe he likes to uh, likes to move the pieces around. Black resigns. Uh, he resigns. Okay, well, that was, that was kind of a challenge. silly game, but I will upload this into a postmortem. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.